Hiya, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel then my name is Sophie and I upload all content related to health, fitness, lifestyle and well-being. So if that sounds like your kind of thing then definitely be sure to click on the little red subscribe button down below as that would mean so much to me if you could do that. As for today's video, as we are officially into December now, I thought it is time to get my tree up. So I thought I would put it up with you. I've got the Christmas jumper on, not that you can really see it at the moment, but you probably will so I'm actually putting the tree up and yeah let's just get straight into this I've also asked for some questions over on my Twitter and Instagram as well related to Christmas I thought I would answer them as we go and yeah I can't wait to get the tree up and get all festive and get in the Christmas spirit I have managed to pull my tree out of the box I'm gonna put it onto my like chest of drawers here I'm hoping that it will work well here I don't know how tall it's gonna be in relation to the actual chest of drawers but we'll have to see as I go just realized I need to actually put the feet on the tree so I can stand it up. I remember last year that these were quite hard to get onto the tree, but hopefully I will manage it. I know they were really hard to get off again at the end as well. Okay, that one's gone on easily. I was gonna say they're going on a lot easier than I thought, but then this one is being more difficult. Oh, oh no, it's not quite on. Might have to push it in on the ground, I think. <laughs> Managed to get it in so we can actually stand it up now. I don't know how tall it's gonna be on my chest of drawers. Oh, it's actually got one of my hairs stuck to it as well. That's nice. Just get that off. But gonna start just getting, getting these branches out and down. This was actually a really good tree as well. I got it for like, I think it was only 10 pound in Argos. So a pretty good buy last year. While I'm doing this, I am going to answer one of the first questions as well. And that is, what is your favourite part of Christmas dinner? Obviously with Christmas dinner, you have got amazing food. I do love a good roast, but it's also just so nice all getting together and sitting around the table and just having loads of good food together and having everyone there. That's definitely a nice bit of it as well. Then. Yeah, of course the food is a key part. Do love some good roast veg and a good nut roast as well, always at Christmas. Or well, I did last year anyway, I made myself my nut roast and feel like you can go that extra mile on Christmas day and you've got all the trimmings as well, which makes all the difference. And yeah, I don't know, it's just a really nice time to get everyone together and sit around the table together. I've forgotten how much work goes into actually sorting out the like, branches on a tree especially after it's been stored away for a year and everything's just so bundled up. It's hard with the wall at the back as well. I can't really put those bristles down too much, but hopefully I should be able to spread it out enough. <laughs> well, that's the bottom half of it sorted. I've then got the top half to go in here as well. I, oh wow, it actually is really tall. <laughs> I didn't remember just how tall it was, but there's no sort of space on my floor in my uni room to put it. I guess actually I could, I might end up moving it over to below the window because yeah, I'll have to see how it fits, but it's a bit big for this room. Oh wow, I'm not gonna be able to reach the top of this as well. That's gonna be a fun task trying to decorate that. Oh, these are all just individual branches actually. Okay, these come down easier. I feel like I need a ladder to, to stand on to do this try and cover up the joining bit as well, as much as I can. I'm gonna pull this down off of here so I could actually just unfold the top because I can't quite reach it. It's actually nearly as tall as me. <laughs> I did not realize how big this tree was. It's just cause it was on sale and I got excited and I went for the big one, but now I'm like, for most rooms, this is probably not the most practical tree to have, but it'll be fine. I'll make it work. This top bit as well is a bit, a bit bent. I don't actually have a star for the top. That is um, my one let down. I probably should invest in a star, but we'll just make it work without one for now. Okay, so that is that all unfolded. I now need to try and put the lights on it, but I think I'm gonna have to do that with it down because yeah, if not, I'm just not gonna reach the top and then I can put it back up to finish decorating it. There's literally just green like bristles from the tree everywhere as well now. I'm really hoping that these lights still work too because 
They are battery powered and hopefully the batteries from last year are still functioning. Worst bit of putting the tree up is trying to untangle all the lights, definitely. <laughs> oh no, they're getting re-tangled. Oh now they're stuck in the tree. Right, let's let's start winding them round. Hopefully this will go well from the start and I won't have to redo them loads of times. Oh, it's still caught up here. Let me just loop this bit round so that it stays up the top. Should have done a better system for putting these lights on because I'm just getting myself all tangled. Oh no, they've come off the top. I'm just getting myself all tangled right now. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to open this little bit, don't I, to put it on the top and now hopefully that will stay. It's really annoying me that this top bit is not straight at all. Can I bend it that way a bit? I mean, that's better than it was. <laughs> I am going to actually, I will get up another question while I'm doing this because this could take a little while. Let's see. Um, how does your Christmas morning go? Well, normally we will so we wake up, go down in our pyjamas, then we do all the presents then. Let me know when you do your presents. I know some people will save them till later, some will space them out throughout the day and do like half in the morning and then half in the evening which is quite nice actually because then you just sort of get presents ongoing all day which to be fair is quite a nice way about it and then we'll normally have breakfast and yeah and that's kind of just our morning we just sort of have a nice chilled christmas morning opening presents I'm not even in the shop right now <laughs> um opening presents and having a nice breakfast and yeah, just having a nice pyjama morning. I usually spend it in our pyjamas, that's for sure. Definitely feel like Christmas morning has to be spent in your pyjamas. There's no better way to spend it. Just trying to make sure I space out these lights enough so that they go all the way down to the bottom. Don't want to run out, as there is quite a lot of tree to cover with these. Oh no, we have run out. I'm gonna have to shuffle some of these a bit further down. We need to just try and space this out a little bit better. Also got tinsel, that's another thing which is hard to try and get right. You don't wanna cover up the lights and you need that to be spaced up nice and evenly as well. Well, we have got the lights on the tree. Now, oh, hang on, I need to get that properly onto the table. Let's just do a little test. Oh, I'm just gonna try and pull this down a little bit better. There we go. Oh no, it's still caught up in the tree. Well, we have lights. They work. I don't know how well they're coming across on camera because I've got the ring light on. Oh, there's so many different modes. Let me just dim the light a sec so that you can see them. We have lights and they actually look all right. They look like they're spaced out quite evenly, which is good. I like this. Oh, we have a lit up tree. That's one step done, many more to go. Oh, it looks so pretty. I feel like a Christmas tree just makes a room feel so cozy and festive. I love it. I now need to get the tinsel on, I think, is my next thing. Of course, I've gone for rose goldy, sparkly pink tinsel. I have also got pink rose gold baubles to go with it too. I did buy these, I think the baubles are definitely from Primark. I think I got these from Primark as well. I got them last year, but the colour that goes in my room the best so of course I had to go for it and actually while I do the tinsel I keep forgetting to answer questions just because I'm getting too distracted by my tree um let me see okay what is your favourite Xmas song I think my favourite song oh no I've got I've got to try and let's see where I can start the tinsel from oh it's okay oh no this is harder I might have to bring the tree back down I think I'm going to bring it back down and then I'll put it up once the tinsel's back on it. You can see the tip of the tree, but I am just literally going to wind this around and try and avoid the light covering up any lights as much as possible. Ooh, the tinsel's getting all caught up. My favourite Xmas song, anyway, I think I have to go for, for a classic it has to be, so I'm going to say All I Want For Christmas Is You. Whenever you hear those, that song coming on, that's when you know you're approaching Christmas season. It's definitely got to be one of the best, probably well-known Christmas songs. And it's a good, like, breaking into Christmas one because I feel like you've got the real classic Christmas songs. Then you've got that one, which is a bit more of a pop style song, but it's Christmassy. So it's like a good transition into the Christmas season, I feel. I'm just gonna come round here and try and finish bringing the tinsel around the front of the tree. Oh, I don't want to cover up any of the lights. I feel like that should look okay. 
let me let me bring it up and have a little look at it and see how the progress is going. Oh, I forgot about the, the light switch, which is now just dangling down. Oh, there we go. It's looking good so far. You can only see, you, okay, you're literally just missing the tip of the tree from this bit, but it's looking good. The tinsel's gone on well. We've got the lights on. All that's left to do now is put the ball balls on. So, have a little route through here. I'm gonna empty these out of the bag, actually, because the bag is very noisy. Ah, oh, okay, now I've just gotta space these out nicely. Oh, I'm just gonna bring these branches down a little bit more. Space them out. And I will answer another question while I'm putting the ball balls on, just because I am not doing great about this. This one is, what do you what do you like to do on Christmas? Well, like I said before, I've kind of described our morning already. We have presents in the morning, and then, then we have a nice meal as well. So it turns out what we do after presents, it's normally like time to get dressed and like do yourself up ready for Christmas day. Obviously, in the meantime as well, food is all going on, getting that all prepped and ready. And then usually on Christmas day, we normally end up with some kind of new clothes, so that usually becomes the outfit that you end up putting on. And then we'll have like a late lunch, sort of early afternoon kind of lunch, have lunch all together, a nice big meal. Then we always have to watch the Queen's Speech, which is, is that normally like three o'clock, I want to say? So normally after our meal, that's what we'll do and then just kind of spend the afternoon we usually get some kind of board game actually or some kind of game it used to be just dance actually on the Wii for ages would be our go-to Christmas game always get the new version of that and just spend time in the afternoon playing some games together and yeah just enjoying time together of course as well on Christmas day there's so many good TV shows and Christmas films and just great things on the TV itself so always end up watching some good Christmas TV as well and then dinner normally comes around and we just end up having leftovers from lunch or like whatever else you can stomach after a massive Christmas meal of course after I didn't mention after the Christmas meal we always have Christmas pudding of course a classic you can't go without it are you a lover or hater of Christmas pudding and mince pies because I definitely love them. I feel like if you don't like one, then you won't like the other. But let me know your opinion on Christmas, on Christmas pudding and mince pies. And yeah, and then in the, in the evening, just have a really nice chilled evening in front of the TV after dinner. Yeah, it's basically just a nice day at home with everyone. Spent playing games, eating lots of good food, having presents. I feel like it's just, yeah, a really good way to spend the day. It's a nice, chilled, relaxed day. It's the perfect excuse for just slobbing around, not doing anything, and just enjoying time together, which I definitely love. Oh, no, I've put two that are the same next to each other. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> There's three in this area that are all the same. I'm going to try and space them out as much as I can. But, yeah, let me know what your sort of typical Christmas day looks like, what you like doing, your fave way to spend it, what your fave bit of the day is. Let me know all of that down below in the comments. I've actually got quite a lot of baubles. I feel like this is a good amount for this tree. Oh no, this one's not going on. It's got all caught up. What is going on with this one? It's got stuck in the branch somehow. Oh, there we go. I need to put a few around the bottom. I'm really trying to space these out as best as I can. I'm trying to look at the tree from all angles. Okay, let me sort this wire out. Let's hide this bit better. Let's pop that back. Will this reach the table? Oh no, that's pulling on it a little bit. Might pop that light down. Oh, that's getting all caught on. There we go. Now I can hide that back there. So we haven't got a wire hanging down, which is always, always good to have your wires a bit more hidden. I'll just put some baubles in front of it as well. Yeah, because this side is looking a little bit bare actually. Let's put a few more around here. I've got three left. Where is looking a bit empty? Let me come around this side. This side's looking quite good actually. I might put one there. And then I might put one down here. And then I've got one last gold one left. This can go. Oh that decision of where to put the last Christmas bauble, where is empty. I think I have spaced the different colours out quite well though, that's good. But I'm just trying to decide where where the last one should, no there's a gold one over there, I'm not gonna 
pop that one there. Maybe towards the top, I might put one more up here actually. And there we go, oh no that's a bit close. Need a better place for that last one. Might put it here, is that better? I feel like that looks all right there. Yeah, that looks, oh, this area looks a bit bare actually. I might take this one, because there's some tinsel in this area, and ship it up over here. I feel like that looks quite good. I am quite happy with my work. Oh, I'm nearly knocking it over. But actually, I love, oh, I love having a Christmas tree in my room. Honestly, it makes it so cozy at night. I love turning the lights like off, having just the Christmas tree lights on. I'm definitely feeling very festive now. Now I'm in like the mood to listen to Christmas music as well. And I've also realised how long this video is. I'm probably going to have to edit a lot of this out because it took a little while to put that up. I've been doing this for a good like, half an hour at least, if not longer. So I did pause filming as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and watched me put my tree up. I hope it's put you in the festive mood. Let me know what you're excited for this Christmas season and what you're looking forward to on Christmas day and what your plans are. If you have any specific plans on Christmas day or if you just sort of have a chilled one like I do, which is always a nice way to spend it. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to smash a big thumbs up on it as well as click on the little red subscribe button down below as that would mean so much to me if you could do that. And don't forget there is also that notification bell too that you can tap on so that you're notified whenever I upload and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!